So you told me that this wasn't gonna work out. You packed up your belongings and left me with so much doubt. It's been eight months since you broke my heart and left our little apartment with a beautiful view of the regional park, not far from the supermarket. But the beautiful view's not as beautiful without. You. I know that we weren't perfect, and you said you wouldn't accept me. But it's Christmas, Becky. Now the memories are flooding my mind every day. I'm wrecking my brain to find out exactly where we ran astray. I guess I shouldn't have cheated on you, or maybe my room was too messy. But it's Christmas, Becky. Is this about when I drank all the milk and then put it back in the fridge? Or is this about the gasoline trail they found that I put on the bridge? Cause I swear that I would buy you another milk carton. Technically not arson I suppose these are reasons you would neglect me Those are some very good reasons But it's Christmas, Becky Christmas is almost here, Becky So why don't you give me one more chance? Christmas is almost here, Becky, and I think that I deserve another chance. <laughs> I rhyme chance with chance. Oh, and I should clarify, when I say I cheated on you, I'm referring to when I moved your skilly with first game piece while you're giving me a piggyback right? Sorry. Oh, the holidays feel so empty. I can already tell. You can already tell. To no one who direction I can shake my jingle bell The mistletoe feels gratuitous when you are here to peck me Cause it's Christmas Becky You can still be mad my mom stabbed your dad in the arm with a number two pencil It wasn't that sharp and no he's totally Any slower If you tear me down again I know that it would wreck me Cause it's Christmas, Becky Christmas is almost here, Becky So why don't you give me one more chance Christmas is almost here, Becky. At least you could do is give me a seventh chance. Oh, Becky, I swear I've changed this time. And I promise I'm never gonna play Monopoly again. Five disasters in a row is enough for me, but that snarky little cheater had it coming. Sure, everybody looked at me like I'm the bad guy for yelling at your great at Mildred when she's the one who just so happened to land on every orange space in three turns. It's not like I knew about her condition. And yeah, it probably wasn't bad taste to dress up as the Monopoly man at the funeral, but that was for an unrelated event and I didn't have time to go home and change. But I'll change for you, Becky. So you told me that this wouldn't ever work out You packed your travel scrabble game And left your sauerkraut It's been eight months and five minutes since you broke my heart And left a little apartment With a beautiful view of the regional park Not far from the supermarket where I got arrested for stealing the child's kazoo And in my defense, I stole the kazoo for you For your vintage kazoo collection, 
I suppose there's a number of reasons why you would choose to reject me. But come on. It's Christmas time, Becky. It's Christmas time, Becky. It's Christmas time, Becky. It's Christmas time, Becky. It's Christmas, Becky. Oh, you've got to get over me, Josh.